Hey, Keith, just was curious, uh, obviously a lot of ores on the depth chart to start out with. You, we've already right. kind of been well through this in fall, how well those guys have done, but Dwayne did top the list. What what was it about his play this fall that really kind of cemented him as maybe your number one choice? I think, you know, going into this game, Dwayne has been uh, really consistent as far as uh, his effort at practice, as far as picking up, you know, the offensive schemes, the things that we're asking him to do. Um, definitely has been durable for us this fall. Uh, so we're excited to see what he can do. And he brings a lot of versatility with his speed and size, uh, something I like to see uh, going into this game. Now, I know, obviously, you would only have seen last year's film and whatnot, but you know, Dwayne had a couple of issues with fumbling maybe early in the season right. and didn't play a lot maybe because of it in the middle of the season. How has ball security maybe been in, in general for the guys and maybe for him specifically? Definitely for, you know, all of, all of running backs, that's just part of the position. If you can't hang on to the ball, you won't play very much. Uh, we definitely have, have hyped up the, the sense of awareness uh, going into this game as far as what we need to do ball security-wise. And it's one of our running back fundamentals that we work on daily. So really, as a group, we have to do a good job of taking care of the ball. I think one of the things that you get with a tall guy like that is such a big target. And, you know, he's not as low and compact as some of those other guys. So we definitely have uh, hyped it with all the guys, kind of hitting them with prance and those type of things to make sure they have a heightened, heightened sense of awareness of that ball. You know, when you talk about you know, trying to do the rotation, and, and we've talked about the idea of the hot hand, and right. it makes sense if a guy rips off a couple a couple big runs, right. maybe that can, is considered a hot hand. Right. But is there some other things that maybe go into it that maybe we don't think about, and maybe pass protection, or or just you know doing his assignment every single time? What, right. what, what constitutes a hot hand for you? Well, I guess you got to kind of see if a guy's into the rhythm of the game, whether that be protection or in the run game. You definitely got to start with the run game at the running back position. If a guy is starting to get into a zone and he's getting those three or four yards, a carry, carry, you know, and, you know, I, I think I have some really good strong running backs that can run through tackles. And, you know, if you kind of get get a chance to wear a defense down with the same guy, he's eventually going to break one. And you kind of hit on hit the nail on the head consistently in the pass protection game. I think we got to help the quarterback and the O-line out with knowing our assignments and pass protection. So a guy that can run the ball but doesn't know who to block is not going to help us either. So it's going to be a twofold thing of making sure the guy that is dialed in the game essentially is going to be important for us. Uh, looking at the depth chart, obviously I've got three guys listed with that. Or are you kind of expecting right?